All right, what's going on guys? Kosho here at the Lions and my man Charles. If you guys have been following this series, we've basically been putting Charles uh, through his training with a push, pull, and uh, leg day. So it's gonna be his pull day. Uh, and we have three total videos out, so you guys wanna make sure you're checking all those. Uh, Charles has been just going through an awesome transformation journey from basically starting from scratch and just consuming tons of information uh, from people on YouTube. I was also his coach for a while, so he's taken those principles and helped it with his training. Uh, so today with pull day, what do we have on tap, man? So I have a, a warm up with uh, pull-ups. Uh, sometimes I'll go to assisted pull-ups. Really depends on how I feel for the day. And then I will do some type of row variation, whether it's a barbell row, a landmine row, or like a meadows row. And then I will do lat pull downs, right? And then after lat pull downs, I'll do lateral raises. And then sometimes I'll sprinkle in arms. It depends on if I already did them during the week or not. Awesome, yeah. So I think you're training uh, pull day twice a week, right, right now? Correct. So he's doing two pull days, uh, as the same with all the other uh, push and uh, leg days as well. So he's training six days a week, mainly hypertrophy focus. So let's uh, just kind of go through with his training, hopefully give you guys some tips on my end as well as his end uh, for some of the people who are starting their journey. And let's just get into it, guys. So uh, Charles had a great question about pull-ups and he was saying, uh, you know, is it good to go all the way down at the bottom of the pull-up or still keep a little bit of engagement? And my response to this was basically, we always wanna go full range of motion, so all the way down. And the reason I say that is because if you're only working partial range of motion, right, you're missing obviously a chunk of that. Uh, but then two, just from being a gym owner for a long time, we have athletes that come in who don't do full range of motion and they either don't go all the way up or they don't go all the way down. So when we correct them, they find that they're really weak in that uh, either top or end range of motion. So if you're starting, guys, full ROM all the way, um, it's just gonna help you better in the long term. So really try to go all the way down, get a good stretch all the way up. As you can see, he's getting that bar pretty much to his chest or like his clavicle, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, so th these are some really clean, crisp looking pull-ups. Pull-ups, great exercises, warm up, uh, get primed up for this next exercise, which we have a bent over barbell row, so Charles is doing. But he's got these crazy contraption things in his hand. Uh, so what are these? Straps. I right. thought they were bracelets. Yeah, right? <laughs> same, same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I use straps because uh, um, I'm doing hypertrophy. I'm not really trying to train grip, right? So if I wanted to do grip, I would focus on, on grip training, right? Just, you know, one of the, some of the grip tools that we have here, if I was gonna focus on grip. But in this case, I'm trying to focus on my back. So I'm using straps so that my, I'm not being limited by my grip. Come on. That's it. Good. Come on. Nice, beautiful job. These rows always shoot my heart rate up like crazy for whatever uh -huh. reason. I think it's because like, you're focused on holding your breath, you're in like a bent over position, and normally it's like higher volume, but every time I'm done, man, I'll get my heart rate, I'm like, is this real? Am I about to die right now? But I don't, I never die. My back just gets massive. Oh, he's crying. He cries. He's crying right now. Yeah, he's a freaking baby. <laughs> We're trying to make him more of a man. He has tears. You see the tears in my eyes. <laughs> Barbell rows just get people right, right in the fields. Right in the fields. It's a very emotional lift. Yeah, yeah we cut, we cut all afterwards. Good. Great stretch. Come on, come on. Nice. You, you find uh, with rows, it's like super easy to know when you hit the right RPE. Like for yeah. me, like I know like I won't be able to touch my chest and it's like done. You know, I feel like that with uh, rows and like shoulders, for some reason, yeah. like the two muscle groups, it's super easy to just know when like you perfectly hit where you Yeah, it's a whole lot of nope. Yeah, yeah, I get to the nope, especially right now I hurt, I pinched a nerve in my neck doing curls because I'm me and that's what happened. That's cool, I tore my, <laughs> tore my bicep doing curls too, ha <laughs> ha. My man. I was just focusing too much, I was like looking at it and twisting yeah. my neck. 
That is what we call a mind muscle connection. <laughs> yeah, literally. And now I got all this pain. So yeah, for today I definitely know I'm like, one more, nope. Yeah, yeah. I was just fine that. Like even doing the overhead shoulder press machine that we had just gotten, you know, it's funny, you like crank out 15 and you feel good. And then the next rep, it's just like, like literally the hand of God is just like, you are not going to get this next rep. You are done. And you're like, what? I just did 15 and felt great. But it's like 16, no, hard cut off. Alright, so first of all, you guys know we're a huge fan of these grips. They're basically the Magpul grips, but, or not Mag, I think it's just Mag. Magpul's a gun brand, but uh, Mag, uh, I'm pretty sure they just came from like Walmart or something. I still to this day can't remember if I bought them for myself or they were gifted to me. I do not know. But what's nice about it, as you can see, it kind of has this uh, triangle. And basically what that's also allowing us to do, on top of having a really good grip, is letting us get a little bit extra range of motion there. So. We've been a huge fan of these. We have all different attachments, close grip, wide grip, uh, different hand placement grips, and it's just a great tool to have uh, if you can when it comes to back training or using a lot of pull down. Well, uh, probably talked about this on the channel before, but it's always good to uh, you know reintroduce topics. And when it comes to structuring these workouts, right, you always want to emphasize whatever you want to improve on first, because you're going to be able to be fresh for that and put as much focus into that movement. Uh, so you know, typically in strength training, that's why we like doing the compound lifts first, because they require a lot of energy and mental focus. Uh, but in hypertrophy, you can look at you know, what exercise can be the best uh, for you personally to help grow the targeted muscle. And then thinking about, you know, what is the part of the muscle that, or, or the muscle in general that I'm trying to train. Uh, so that's kind of like for you guys to figure out on your own. Uh, but if you're really trying to work on your lats, right? Maybe starting with like a lat pull down or a wider uh, grip variation uh, for any sort of pull down or row is gonna be, you know, best bang for your buck versus starting off with like, a narrow grip variation, if that makes sense. So when you're looking at your training, it's like, okay, what do I really want to work on? What are those movements that can help me do that? And then I want to structure that kind of first and then get a little bit less specific or hit the, the, the minor stuff later in the training. raises because they feel good. I feel like I get a good range of motion on them and um, over over time I've seen some growth um, in the targeted areas, right? It's the same thing with the with the, with the uh, reverse, the, the bent, right? Reverse lateral raises when we did the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I feel them. I feel them real good. The question I, ha I have for Charles is like, uh, some people designate like a shoulder day, right? But he's kind of been sprinkling in his shoulders throughout the week. Is there any specific reason why you do that? Or it's just because it's, it's work? Like, you know, I'm just curious. Well, so the, so the reason I split the, the shoulders up is, is I feel like this is a push, right? So I put it onto my push day. It's just, yeah, I, feel, I feel like I'm pushing. Yeah. So that's why I, how I split it up. Um, I feel like, if I try to do just a single like shoulder day or like a chest day, um, I feel like there's too much of a gap in between yeah. the next yeah. session. Yeah. Where if I where if I just do the push pull legs, I feel like there's ample time for me to recover for the next mm -hmm. session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Makes, makes total sense. The other thing is with shoulders, they're smaller muscles, so they recover pretty quickly, and you can train them with a higher frequency. So that's kind of why I do it similar to how he does it, where I'll have shoulders sprinkled out throughout my whole week. Uh, versus other larger muscle groups will probably just be limited to twice per week. Close break door frames. Come on. Go ahead. Nice. Flying home. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. 
go, here we go. probably watching they're like where's the right range of motion for this exercise Charles is going up here sometimes people will go to here right once again right you got to find that in-between answer of what works best for you uh, sometimes with shoulders I find that I get uh, like some trap uh, activation there as well uh, but my thing is like what's the worst that happens I get too jacked my traps get too big and my shoulders get big like this is a problem I'm okay dealing with um, you know, but if you're trying to limit that, you know, maybe relax those traps, kind of like depress uh, the scapula down and then just focus on more of a, a side delt. But with him, like, you know, I don't see anything wrong with what he's doing. He's gonna get a great stimulus from these, really build in the shoulders, the traps, a little bit of the upper back. Um, so I see no problems with that. Current inspirations is Bujira. He's a, he's a World of Warcraft player and Twitch streamer and, uh, and YouTuber and he's overall amazing guy, natural pro bodybuilder. He's consistently like the top warrior in World of Warcraft in the arena for years on end. And he's just a good guy. He gives a lot of good advice on nutrition, a lot of good advice on lifting. You can watch his stream on Twitch often and he'll answer questions and go through and kind of show you it doesn't have, you can switch up exercises when you want, right? You can be loose on things and not worry as much kind of takes some of the stress away, which is nice. Because yeah. if you watch a lot of videos, they're like, you have to do it this way, right? You have to do it. Like when we do the lateral raises, oh, you have to move your pinky and put your pinky in some in some position. Yeah, yeah. And and from watching him and watching you, I've learned that that's not really true, right? Yeah, it's sure. a lot more flexible than you would think. It's not as rigid. Yeah. So basically what Charles is saying is I would get double the amount of followers if I started gaming hardcore guys. Noted. All right, guys, so that is it for our series with Charles, okay? So we did a push, pull, and a leg day video taking you through what he does on those days. Uh, see, like I said, he's been getting into this journey. He has just a lot of great resources and references that he's been using and mentioning throughout the series of how he's gotten to where he's at. Uh, so I'm excited to see where this guy goes in the future. He's already made crazy gains and transformed himself since when he started, just two years, basically. Uh, so this is just the beginning for him. And I'm sure down the road on the channel, you know, we'll keep you guys updated with how he's doing. Um, but first off, just want to say thanks, dude, for getting on the channel. Really cool. My pleasure. Uh, and then also, if there's anything like you just have to say to uh, the viewers who are watching this that maybe gives them some inspiration or just anything in general you want to close it out with, I'm going to leave the, the camera up to you, my man. And then uh, we'll get you back on in the future and we'll see where he's at. Excellent. Yeah, just keep after it. Just keep doing it. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's really improved my body. Um, I mean, previously, for example, it snows a lot here. I would shovel for like 15 minutes and I'd be out of wind. This year, I shovel for like an hour and a half while talking on the phone, and I was good to go, right? <laughs> I was absolutely fine. So it's good for your body, uh, it's good for your mind, um, and just keep at it. I mean, it takes, it took me over a year to see any type of progress, and that's just, uh, you know, my, that's just me, right? My body, and, uh, but now the, the gains are starting to slowly roll in. I can see the foundation. So you just have to stay diligent, consistent, and just keep after it. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. So I'm stoked for him. Uh, just really pumped to see where he goes with his journey. Uh, but that's all I'm gonna say, guys. You know, Hopefully you liked the video and the series. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, we offer tons of programs on zastrength.net. There's templates, there's custom programming. Uh, we try to you know, make it uh, affordable and have plenty of options for everybody out there depending on your goals. Uh, but until then guys, stay in Lean Mean Strength Machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.